So I, I think that this is what your fourth tab for this year? Yep. Because it's our fourth unit. <clears throat> and I want to talk about this. There's some very specific things that I put onto these. <clears throat> the title is of course the major part. I want you to be able to reference back to these when you're in Algebra 2. And so if you notice, I don't make the chapter titles of our book what's here, I put the topics, right? Because you're gonna wanna look back on systems of um, equations and inequalities later. I want you to think about what you already know about equations. And what's different between equations and inequalities. We know with equations, what's our symbol? We have an equal sign. With inequalities, we've got a variety of symbols, true? A system of equations or inequalities means that we're gonna be dealing with more than one equation or inequality at the same time. So this picture of this graph here, if you notice, it has two lines on it. I can't tell you without seeing the um, actual math part of it, what the, if they're equations or inequalities, but we're gonna treat them right now like they're equations. And I want you to make this point where they cross big. Because when we're dealing with systems of equations and inequalities, what the graph would look like is always really important. And what we just created there with that big giant point was we highlighted a solution to a system of equations. A solution to a system of equations is the xy pair where their, their lines cross. What is this coordinate for this point? <coughs> Negative two? comma what? Mm -hmm. This is negative two comma three. And what this picture is saying is if I take the equation for this negative line, and if I take this equation for this zero slope, they would cross at this point and that point is the answer for that system of equations. We're basically saying there's this line and this line, and they both have a bunch of points on them, but together they only share this one point. That's in short what a system of equations is. It's two equations that cross at a point. A system of inequalities is a little bit more complex because it deals with us shading the graph in certain ways. Call me a math geek, but they're kind of fun because I like to use colored pencils and you use two colors and they like make a third color when the colors are so you know, you'll see when we get there. Okay, so that's kind of in short what a system of equations and inequalities are. Turn over and I'd like you to look at the objectives. These are straight out of our book. I'm not going to necessarily teach them in this exact order. I kind of teach for 1, 4, 2, and 4, 3 as a group, and then I'll show you where they separate out. But I wanted the um, objectives to come from our book because they are the things that we're trying to make sure we learn in this unit. These top three are systems of equations. This last one is where we have systems of inequalities. And if you read the objectives, you'll see that. I want us to add a couple of notes to this tab. We're gonna put a quick definition. A system of either equations or inequalities has two or more equations or inequalities.
I put that in parentheses because basically you could take either one of those words and make this statement true. A system of equations has two or more equations. A system of inequalities has two or more inequalities. And there are three ways to solve systems. We can graph them. We can use substitution. Or we can use elimination. And again, I know we haven't spent a ton of time on our tabs in the past, but if you look up here, what's the objective for one? I can use graphs. I can solve a system of equations for 4, 2 using substitution. What word do you see in 4, 3? Really? Elimination. I don't expect you to know what those mean yet. We'll go through that as this week progresses. And then systems of inequalities share a lot of those same things. Just like when we solved inequalities, it was so similar to solving equations where we multiply or divide on both sides. We add or subtract, right? <clears throat> and this is one of my favorite two units to teach, just saying. Kind of excited we're finally here. I will tell you, speaking of favorites, when I teach you graphing, substitution, and elimination, chances are really good that you will find one of those three that you like better than the other two. But I'm going to ask you to try to get good at doing all three of them. It's okay to have your favorite. I do, and I'll probably be blatant about it when I'm teaching it. But you have to be flexible because not all of them can be solved easily with your favorite method. There's advantages to all three of them. Okay? You ready to trust me on that? Okay.